When the body tries to interpret cues of danger, it's always sensing whether or not we're safe or we're in danger. And quite frankly, it does not discriminate between being a traumatic and just being overwhelmed and loaded. It reads it as the same thing. It's going to see if it's safe or not. Now, throughout the summit, you heard this example of this hierarchy being laid out. When you're safe, all right, when you're, you're not thirsty or hungry, you can seek contact. You can seek and be in relationship with others. Well, the same thing happens internally inside. When the brain is reading that there is a safety between all parts, pattern is available, function is going to emerge. If not, if there is not that safety and it is going to sort on, it won't be able to lead you to a function. So it is constantly reading behind the scenes. Are the sensations you're feeling safe? Because there is a large area, all right, of pattern, you can get the job done, but the more areas along that pattern that are distorted or not available, it will read in the brain as it's not safe, and we're going to have to really change how we're going to make this movement. And there's this continually mismatch of sensation to motor outcome, and you're and these are the people that fall outside of our bell-shaped curve. They get some function back, but it really doesn't make the difference that they want in their life. So when we talk about, and this is probably what's going to be new for most folks, and it's this concept of in the nervous system, this is basic, we have a receptor. A receptor is the signal of sensation. For baby Wren, there's a signal of pressure, and that pressure comes through, and it, and it has three options. It has either option one, blue, it's going to signal a group of muscular patterns, and you're going to have a response. It, two, it's also going to signal something that goes up and it's going to be mapping up here in the brain. All right. So this response here doesn't even have to go to the brain to map. It happens as a reflex. This is what this is what causes us to have that equilibrium reaction if we're almost falling. If the pattern is available. If the pattern's not available, it will try to elicit the equilibrium reaction, but it, it will fail because there's no target. Now, here's the third thing. You see this purple line here? That information coming in also sends the information to your sympathetic nervous system. All good, all right? So there, the sympathetic nervous system is always, always working right? It's always working and it's in harmony, it's self-regulated and it's in balance. But what happens when the receptor out here becomes nociceptive or transmitting a sensation of, oh man, this doesn't feel safe. It's pain. And so what happens is that the protective reflex gets activated. And the protective reflex is one in which is that if this receptor, which is now a nociceptor, instead of an equilibrium reaction here, now you're gonna get this incredible withdrawal withinward. So something is protective, it's gonna pull in. It's gonna say, oh man, I can't move. And it's going to start to really bring you in some area of shutdown, usually locally, but then it will have an impact then more regionally and of course globally.